Alright, ready? Okay, yeah. don't be nervous. Alright, okay. alright. <laughs> oh, it's not going to work. Alright. <laughs> anyway, we are here as you can see for a sneak preview of uh, Gears of War. And, you know, lately Chicago hasn't been getting a lot of love in terms of video games, but tonight is special. Tonight is very, very special. Actually, we are graced with the presence of Michael Caps, the president of Epic Games. It isn't any better than this. The man demoing the game. I'm here in for person. the brats. I'm here for the hot dogs. I'm here for the doing this. Pizza, too. Fruities? All right. And pizza. Italian beef. I gotta do that. Oh, Portillo's. You gotta go to Portillo's. Portillo's? Everybody says some places different. Hands down. Everybody Chinese says beef. Chinese? All right. <laughs> Portillo's, you can't beat it. You, All right. Nowhere else. All right. Anyway. A lot, you know, it's hard to come up with questions. I mean, everyone's scared. Game is, this game, has been, this game has been all everywhere, all over the news. People have been eating it up like fat kids, like eating candy. It's just a little bit of hype. They it's very scary the hype we're getting, I'll be honest. They can never get enough of uh, Gears of War. We can stand up to them. Good turn, right? We'll do our best. I don't think you should be worried about what we've seen tonight. I don't think it would be, uh, it would be an issue. My, uh, my first question is, like, I know like a lot of people, uh, in the past couple of games that have come out for 360, people have had issues because a lot of people don't have high dev TVs. Now, how does this game uh, We've seen most of the demos I've seen are on high dev. How does this game play on a standard television? Well, I mean, sure, it looks great on high dev, but we got to figure that not everyone's got one. I'll be honest, I don't have one. I'm the president of a game are company that makes next generation games, and I haven't got one. Well, I got one at work. I have a beautiful TV at work, but at home, no, I've got a cruddy old 30 inch TV set. And so it's got to look good. You got to be able to read the icons in the menu, stuff like right. that, right? I got really really hurt by an unnamed 360 game where I couldn't tell what was going on in the menus on my regular television set. Uh, I mean, this is, we don't want to sell games just to the guys who have a high def set. As much as, you know, we want everyone to have, I kind of like their grandmothers to buy a copy of this game, right? And you got to make sure you guys take care of some people. So how does the aspect ratio work? Because I know the game looks phenomenal. It's very atmospheric in the white screen. I'm sure the developers, the artists had that in mind. But how does that carry on to... Uh, oh, it's season? not quite as cool without the aspect ratio. And we argued a lot about just letterboxing the whole game. Um, but uh, it still comes out of right in the, the narrow aspect ratio. How is the support been by Microsoft starting the development of Gears of War? Oh, you know that hype you were talking about? That's their job, right? We make a game and hope that people like it, and Microsoft hypes it up. And they've been out there, I mean, they're doing cool stuff like this. I'm, I'm cutting through dudes with a chainsaw at a preview <laughs> of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, what a great idea. I mean, that chainsaw uh, scene is basically reminiscent of uh, Halo 2 when they first brought the dual wheel, when people saw that for the first time. Chainsaw got the same reaction. Okay. Both the crowd just broke down, like broke out and applause. Uh, well, and, like, I mean, it's not the first time a chainsaw's been in the game. That wasn't the first time Dual Wheel's been in the game, but, but I think we did it in a way that's really fun. It was exactly. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as sick and not as, not as cool as Wicked as the one we saw at this time. What about launch parties? Like, do you have any big, huge launch parties planned for this game, particularly in Chicago? In Chicago? Oh, dude, I wish. I'm sorry. Uh, we don't even have one playing in Raleigh right now where our guys are. I think they're all just going to quietly go home and go to sleep after working on this for So, uh, sorry, no. I have an exciting Hollywood party that most of us aren't invited to. I know the game is coming out very soon, but I, and I don't want to get ahead of myself. But what's in store once the game comes out? Like, what do you plan to do? Are you gonna how you're gonna support the franchise, or are you gonna, what does Epic have in store? Like, well, I, I can't say and I can't say, but we got a lot okay. of exciting things coming. Um, I mean, it's Epic, and we always do cool stuff for the game away for free. I mean, we. UT 2004 is the biggest shooter that ever shipped with the number of maps, number of game types, and we still gave away bonus packs and free stuff. I mean, that's epic, and we're not going to change that. Speaking of maps and multiplayer, like, I know when I, I'm a PC gamer, so I, play, I have UT 2004, got my copy signed by Cliffy B. Cool. As he brought it out of sight, but all right. Yeah. Well, my question is, like, PC and GP come with a lot of maps for multiplayer, but I mean, UT primarily, the focus was multiplayer anyway. Yeah. So out of the box, you have, like, 50 maps. There was all sorts of game types. What about... And Halo 2 was a big disappointment in that term because people just used to get two maps over and over and over again. Just a of war. It's such a different thing shipping a console game, right? I mean, the uh, what people are willing to accept in the play experience on a console, they want it to be perfect, they don't want it ever to crash, they don't want it ever to go slow. And so the amount of testing and effort we put in one of these maps compared to a UT map where you can make them in a couple weeks and you knock something out, if there's some collision problems, we just patch it online, no big deal. But, you know, we can't assume that it's going to happen in the console space. So, yeah, you don't get the same map count. UT is going to have, you know, dozens and dozens oh, yeah. and dozens of maps. Oh, yeah. We'll still do that. But now in this space, it's going to be, you know, a little closer to 8 or 10. I see. We'll, we'll try to get you a couple more of them. We'll see. <laughs>
playing. So what about community? Like, are you like uh, the community support? Like I said, are you going to be um, with? Will there be an option for people in the community, community to be able to make maps that they do for PCs? Like, is there any way to do uh, Right now, we don't have any no tool kit out there. No, no. 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 it's uh, just the game on the 360. All right. Okay, I got Sir. some more questions in mind. Shoot. Okay, come to mind. Now, what we saw was pretty much like a very polished version of the game. Is the game the game's like almost a month away from release? Is the game finished? Are they finished with development? Or is uh, I mean, we're locked down except for showstopper bugs, right? At this point, so uh, and the gameplay is finished. We're not adding new features at this point. It's just finishing what we've got, polishing it until it shines. Cool. So, uh, well, this was Michael Caps, president of Epic Games. Thank you so much for coming out to Chicago. It was Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for playing the game. And I mean, it goes without saying, like this game. I mean, I wish you good luck with it, but I don't think it's, it's not needed. Yes, it is. Not for everybody. That kind of hype, man. We got a lot to stand up to. So, yeah, come check it out. Remember to believe the hype. 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 Believe the hype.